Welcome to our design tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter when working with Flexbox layouts. Our viewer asks, how can we fill vertical space with Flexbox when one item stretches to any height? Alright guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To fill vertical space equally with Flexbox, we need to set up our container correctly. First, we define a container with a display of flex. Next, we focus on the left side of our container. We set the left element to flex with a ratio of two, allowing it to take up more space compared to the right element. Now, let's ensure that the items inside the left container fill the vertical space equally. We achieve this by setting each item to flex with a value of one. Finally, we add the right element, which will stretch to any height. This setup allows the items in the left container to adjust their height based on the available space. You can see the complete code in action by visiting the provided link. This setup ensures that the items in the left container fill the vertical space equally. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To effectively fill vertical space with Flexbox, simply remove the height property from the left container. This allows the items to stretch and fill the available space. Here's a quick look at the CSS for the container and its children. The left section uses flex properties to manage its layout, while the right section is styled with a border. In the HTML structure, the left container holds two items, while the right container contains text. This layout demonstrates how Flexbox can manage space efficiently. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fill vertical space with Flexbox, you can use the Align Items property. Specifically, set it to Stretch. And that's it, guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.